All right, well, our next guest says this committee is nothing like the 9-11 Commission. Joining us now with his take is Harvard Law School professor emeritus and host of The Dersh Show, Alan Dershowitz. Professor was also part of the legal team that represented Trump during his first impeachment trial. Professor, good to see you. I've been looking forward to talking to you at the end of this week. Um, I do want to get your initial just reaction from the hearing last night. Well, I'm wearing my Celtic shirt today, not only in preparation for the great uh, matchup tonight, but to make an analogy, it's as if the Warriors came out yesterday and started shooting toward the basket. Uh, and the Celtics were kept off the court. And all we saw was one team scoring one after the other, missing a few layups, missing a few jump shots, but no defense, uh, no stealing of the ball, no rebounds. That's what we saw last night. It was not a fair proceeding. And even if you say it was one-sided, it was unethical. Why was it unethical? Take, for example, President Trump's speech on January 6th. I opposed that speech. I didn't think it was done well. I didn't think he should have done it. But he said at the end of the speech he wanted people to uh, show their voices uh, patriotically and peacefully. They doctored the tape. They edited those words out. If a prosecutor ever did that, they'd be disbarred. You can't present part of a tape and deliberately omit the rest of the tape in order to mislead the audience, especially when the other side has no opportunity to cross-examine, no opportunity to put its on, on its own evidence. There's a special ethical obligation not to cheat, not to defraud the mm. viewers. And that's exactly what the Democrats with their two Republicans did yesterday. They cheated the viewers of hearing the actual words that Donald Trump spoke. And you know, Donald Trump committed no crimes. Uh, all those recitation of crimes. It would be the same as if a leader of Black Lives Matter stood up somewhere on the West Coast and made a firebrand speech saying, you know, uh, we're going to bring down this, we're going to do that. And then people went out and, and burned buildings.